concentration is very important for understanding the lectures we can find somebody busy in mobile anyone sleeping or we can have majority of people here you can see they were taking interest in the lecture doppler effect is the first topic in doppler physics once the sound waves are emitted from the transducer they strike the organs on gray scale and the rebound sounds are called echoes that are recaptured by the transducer and displayed on the machine whereas in doppler so we have got uh, two things like blood particles the rbcs they are moving in the blood stream in the vessels so once we scan the vessels or any structure where we have vascularity we will find arteries veins or capillaries so these structures which are moving they act as reflectors structures can be moving away from the transducer or towards the transducer that affects the appearance of color on the doctor for instance if we have assigned red color to the structures which are moving towards the transducer then the blood flow towards the transducer will appear as red on our machine and if the particles are moving away from the transducer which means the flow is away from the transducer they will appear blue we can also assign different colors for instance we can assign green color to this blood flow which is towards the transducer and yellow color or orange to the structures which are moving away from the transducer so nowadays we have options to assign any color to the flow of our interest the formula used for doppler is for instance this is the flow in this direction and here is our ultrasound beam the incident wave so the angle between the center of the stream of flow the center of the blood stream of a vessel and the center of the beam is called an angle so we use this formula for doppler frequency 2 dot f dot v cos theta then is divided by c 
So this will be the theta angle, not alpha angle. So V is equal to C into frequency divided by 2F cos theta. So if we don't know the velocity, we can measure the velocity. So here is the center of the beam. And if we have a blood vessel in this angle, this will be the theta angle. There exists a Doppler shift even at 90 degrees for non-planar waves, for example, beams. Doppler shift means when the when we are getting one color from the flow and it changes, it shifts to another one. We will have some examples. The RBCs, they act as scatterers. Their rotation causes additional frequency modulation. So whenever the sound wave they strike the RBCs, they reflect, they act as refractors. But along with reflection, there will be refraction, scattering, and some sort of absorption also. For velocity measurement at a known angle is important. Whenever we measure the velocities, we need to have a specific angle for all the vessel which we are comparing. For instance, if I am scanning common carotid and I'm keeping an angle of 45 degrees, then I must keep 45 degrees angle for the internal carotid and external carotid, similarly on the other side. So whenever I have assessed the velocity of a vessel on one side of the neck, I will use the same velocity on the other side of the neck and even for the other vessels of the neck so that I can compare the velocity. The velocities are angle dependent, whereas the indices like pulsatility index and a resistive index are not dependent on angle. There is different type of flow. A laminar flow means straight flow. It will be the best flow in the center of the stream and there will be more resistance near to the walls of the vessels. If there is stenosis, as we can see, the area is, this is the patent area and then is the stenosed area. So through the stenosis, the velocity will be increased as there is more resistance. Whereas after the stenosis, there will be turbulent flow, means mixing of flow, keeping in view the direction. So it will be moving in different directions. When we look at the spectrum, the first thing, this is the frequency in Hertz. The maximum velocity. This will be the maximum velocity and the minimum velocity here. And then we have mean velocity. 
which is the mean of maximum and minimum. So multiplying mean velocity and blood vessel cross section yields the volume flow, but we aware of the Poisson's law. This is the window. Is time versus the speed. The types of flow measurement systems are continuous wave Doppler, which is CW, pulse wave Doppler, which is PW. CW, C, uh, 3D flow imaging, 2D flow measurements, and pulse Doppler. So here are the vessels. This flow is in this direction, and this is away from the direction. When we put the transducer, these are the sound waves which are traveling and sound waves which are traveling towards the transducer, bringing the message, the echoes. So in continuous wave, we have got one transducer it is sending the waves and receiving waves. So it is continuously sending and receiving, having two parts, one is sending, the other is receiving. So within one transducer, there will be two components, one is sending and other is receiving. is the CW. The small vessels versus large, the small and large sample volumes. This is very small volume. And here is the large volume. So that will cause broadening of the windows. This is a spectrum waveform, which is biophysic above the baseline forward flow, which is the laminar flow, typical uh, systolic and diastolic. This is type two laminar flow which is triphasic, usually seen in peripheral vessels, the systolic, diastolic, and late diastolic. In turbulent flow, there will be filling of the window. This window will be filled in turbulent flow. You can see in turbulent flow, there will be filling. We can have mirror image if our angle is not good. And we can have symmetrical Filling, we can get the filling, window filling in small vessels also, because even if we try to keep the sample volume, it will be equal to or more than the width of the small vessel. So if the sample volume is filling whole of the lumen of the vessel, there will be a window filling here. 
So in two cases, we can get the filling of the window. One is when the vessel is very small and it is the sample volume, the cursor is almost equal to the vessel or more than the vessel width, its diameter. Secondly, it can be that your sample volume, your cursors are broader or wider. So in second condition, we can make them short. Once we make them less than one third of the lumen of the vessel, we will get the empty window. So the filling of window in normal cases depends upon the width of the sample volume. Whereas it can also be filled in some pathologies like when there is turbulence. Turbulence means mixing of flow directions of the stenosis. So whenever there is stenosis, there will be increased velocity followed by a turbulent flow in which we get window filling. Here you can see this is the mirror image due to wrong angulation. And we have the biophysics. The color Doppler 2D flow display. Here you can see the transducer. This is the image, the field of view. And we have got, this is the sector transducer, the flow display, which is the sample volume shown by the color Doppler. Here is the blood vessel. So anything moving towards the transducer is red and moving away from the transducer is blue. Here you can see this means that the blood is flowing in this direction towards and as the center is here, this is away from the transducer. It is one vessel, same vessel, but due to difference in the direction as compared to the center of the transducer, as compared to the center of the beam, we get different color. This change of color is called Doppler shift. Here you can see aorta portal vein, splenic artery, but common hepatic artery, as it is away from the transducer beam, away from the center, it is giving us blue color. Another example, color Doppler 2D flow, which is the flow spectrum. So this is also called triplex. The duplex means when you get grayscale and colors or color with spectrum. The triplex mode means when you have grayscale, color Doppler and spectrum. So more modes you try, there will be more burden on the machine. So we usually take a sample and then spectrum and try to freeze the vessel movement, although the vessel is moving, but on ultrasound, we don't get the movement of it. There is a knob called update 
so once we push that but that knob that button uh, these will be still and then we will get this so that we don't use much of the energy or power input of, of the machine good machines can show all the three modes in real time in a better way but some of the older versions of the machines of low end color doppler machines uh, they make trouble uh, when we put on the triplex three modes gray scale color doppler or power doppler and spectrum so here we are taking sample this is the total width of the vessel and the sample is almost 25% in the near to the center of the stream so we are getting window as we are getting three phases these are first phase second phase third phase so this is also seen in subclavian and in peripheral vessels the same flow coded with different colors now the blood is moving in this direction and here is the center of the transducer once it crosses the center of the beam it changes its direction because this will be away from the center of the beam and this line indicates once it shifts from red to blue this is called doppler shift Color Doppler imaging spoils the res resolution of B mode. So once we put on the colors, the V mode will be compromised as most of the energy will be used there on the color Doppler. Here in this case, this is common carotid artery. So in small ulceration here in which we are getting mixing of color. Here you can see it on B mode. Uh, the appearance also depends on the frequency which we are using in the transducer. For instance, if it is 8 megahertz, it will appear different due to shorter pulses. We can use ultrasound as angiography for power Doppler. In power Doppler, we get flow, which is not sensitive to the direction. And its intensity penetration is more. The power Doppler encodes in color an estimate of the integrated Doppler power spectrum unlike normal color Doppler where the color represents the mean frequency which is the Doppler shift that is proportional to the velocity. Thus in power Doppler there is no velocity information present. Power Doppler has a larger dynamic range. The value encoded in the color is a function of the amount of detectable moving blood. Relation of power Doppler image to actual amount of flowing blood. So if it is linear, it will be like this relative to the blood flow in concentration. If we can actually find a blood vessel full of moving blood at some depth, then this blood vessel can serve the normalization that is for depth compensation. The indication is the quantity of moving blood. Tissue Doppler imaging. Here is the blood frequency, the tissues, and Doppler shift. So near to the 
wall there will be slow flow and in the center it will be the fastest flow in tissue doppler imaging we use the absolute velocity and differential velocity this is how we use you can see the power doppler this is away from the transducer in 3d power doppler image of splenic vasculature shows both disruption and branching properties the branching properties can be described by fractal dimensions but a better resolution is needed aliasing means mixing of the color this is the vein and artery and blue reversal in it this is mixing then we have hprf system can measure higher velocities but gives ambiguous results so if we use the higher pulse repetition frequency that can mix up the things although it gives us better colors so contrast bubble is harder to compress than to expand echoes of inverted phase from linear medium these are the pulse inversion step 1 2 so you can see is the reversal and positive pulse this is due to the reverse of the same so actors of inverted is from non linear medium something about scattered influences the required intensity the scattered energy is proportional to fourth power of the dimension of a scatterer this makes doppler flow measurements more sensitive to ultrasound frequency change larger frequency yields a larger doppler shift Another method to obtain stronger back scattering is to use ultrasound contrast particles. In this case, the maximum Doppler shift and thus velocity can be overestimated compared to the measurements in pure blood. One method to obtain stronger back scattering signal is increasing the transmission power. this is the spectrum of a short pulse and that of large pulse with this the message is to have practical orientation as we don't do practical hands on training it will be difficult to understand all this physics doppler color doppler spectral doppler and power doppler thank you very much